What's up guys, jumping straight into my chest workout for today's video. This is from Monday but I wanted to do a quick catch up and so we're going to do this right now. So this was an 8x4 workout, I recorded sets 2, 4 and 6 and then I forgot to record set 8. I literally lay down on the bench for my 8th set and I was about to grab the bar and thought I haven't hit record on the camera, should I go and hit it or should I just do this and I just did it. So. I can safely say, and you guys can be assured, that I got the 8th set of 4 reps, so all good for the bench press, and I'll be able to go on to my 10 sets of 3 uh, this coming Friday, and hopefully I uh, will be able to up the weight from what I did for my last 10 sets of 3. So this is a really quick commentary, sorry about that, but I'll be back later on in the video with some more commentary. workout and for deadlifts I was doing 10 sets of 3 and if you guys watched my last video that I did that I had deadlift footage in I mentioned that I didn't know how I would do with my 10 by 3 and put it put simply I failed I was supposed to get 10 sets of 3 with 85% of my one rep max I put 85% of my one rep max on the bar and I did five sets of two reps and I, I left it at that. I thought about doing a whole, you know, ten sets of two instead of three, but I, I didn't even record my form, so I don't know what that was like, so I didn't worry about it. Five sets of two, so I, was st I still, I guess, was kind of happy that I did some heavy weights and, I guess, low reps. I probably should have done more sets, um, but as I say, just in case my back wasn't... Uh, looking the best I decided not to worry and to be honest uh, because I failed that that's kind of why I didn't record the rest of the workout but the point of this is I guess you can't really let failures like that get you down because I should have just I should have forgot about that straight away just gone okay deadlifts are done they didn't go great but you know what I can make up with it with the rest of the workout and for some of it I did but for, for some of it I, I guess I kept thinking about it and I, uh, you know, I guess I let it play on my mind and that affected the tail end of my workout a little bit. But can't let that happen again, so failures happen, you learn from failure. Now I can take that, take what I did this time and, you know, readjust next time and maybe I will be able to hit my 10 sets of 3. I was probably a little bit optimistic with what my 1 rep max actually was. I'm, I've just guesstimated all of my 1 rep maxes. The main point is can't let failure get you down, it happens, learn from it and do better next time. So, I'm sorry that there was no footage today, uh, but you might have already seen some chest workout footage from Monday, and maybe some leg workout footage is going to come tomorrow. Guess we'll have to wait and see. We're here on Wednesday doing some more legs. So. Today is another 7x5, which means I've been through the process for legs for the strength based portion. I've done all three the 7x5, 8x4, 10x3. Yeah. So today back to 7x5. So the idea now is that from last week, you basically assume that your one rep max has now gone up a little bit, or you just assume that, I mean, to progressively overload, you know, you want to add more weight to your work and set so the idea is you just up the weight so I'm gonna up it and try and get another 7 by 5 and then I'll do the same each week try and up the weight that I did the previous time so the idea is you know you progressively get stronger week to week using just that a little bit more weight doesn't have to be a lot but as long as you're progressing that's the main thing. Let's see I don't have a tripod at the moment 
because I broke my old one. So literally, these things here are basically uh, box jump, box jump platforms. So I use those to uh, record, but that's right. All right, we have a bit more time for this commentary, a bit more than usual anyway. I feel like I've just been rushing through these last few commentaries and I really need to sit down and have a good commentary with a plenty of footage from one whole day where I can just kind of, I don't know, talk to you guys. But anyway, this was one of the better squat workouts that I've had in a long time. Still feeling like I'm using lightweight for my strength-based part of the program. But you know what, that's fine, it means that I can make bigger jumps and I feel like I'm progressing pretty well. So you will notice that, I guess again, I've only been focusing on my compound lifts in the videos and I haven't really shown the rest of my workouts, but I do plan to show a full workout, you know, just maybe giving some tips and stuff because I feel like I don't, the thing is I don't want to just do workout after workout after workout because I roughly do the same kind of exercises and feel like that could get boring really really quickly so I'm just trying to you know make things different make things more interesting for you guys and this is something that I'm always progressing on whereas when I move on to the isolation movements it's kind of always the same weight roughly I do try and progress on those as well but I guess with the compound movements it's like they're the, the better lifts to watch I guess and they are the ones that as I say I'm really working on progressing on so that's why they have dominated my videos so far but you know stay tuned because I'm always coming up with you know different ways I want to make my videos and just to keep them exciting keep them interesting and to help you guys give you guys tips if you need them and just do it all so you'll also notice that I added in some cardio footage at the start of Wednesday's video because that's like the only thing I recorded just a quick note on that that was some hit interval training and I was doing 30 seconds on, 1 minute off, and I just did 10 minutes. And I'm typically doing that once, maybe twice a week. And it's just, I feel like it's a good way to keep my sanity because I do enjoy a bit of cardio, you know, just a little bit, just to kind of keep the body fat in check and make sure that it's not going too high while I'm in this bulking phase. But uh, that's going to wrap up this part of the commentary there's a little clip at the end and apart from that I'll see you guys in the next video I gotta say that after yesterday's workout when I was talking about you know it didn't feel that great and felt good to um, have a good workout today kill some legs real good so that's gonna be the end of the video thank you guys for watching Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.